Hey YouTube, it's Mitch at iPhoneCaptain.com. It's that time of week where we collaborate with ModMy.com to bring you the best tweaks of the week. And man, we've got some smoking hot tweaks for you this week, guys. And we're going to go ahead and dive right in and get started on these. And the first one I'm going to share with you right here, let me back out of here. On, I've got my um, camera roll all messed up. So if we come in here, you see that we are looking at Multify, and it, this is going to be probably the most expensive one we look at today. It's five dollars in the Big Boss repo, but guys, this thing is off the hook. You have heard so many people wanting to run more than one or two apps at one time. Multify is the answer, and I'm actually running this on the iPhone 6. So if you have the iPad it would just be that much better for it so let's go ahead and open up multify in the settings preference here you see we have multify and I'm going to go ahead and open it up and you've got a few different things you can change your appearance and, and the free apps and the free apps is what's going to come up this little plus button you see up here uh, those apps at the top are the favorite apps I have chosen right here I have just gone down this list and toggled on five or six different ones that I prefer to have on there now appearance wise we'll get more into that just in a moment but to activate this I have simply got it just to unlock my phone so anytime my phone is unlocked it's on so that way it's not taking up battery power when it's not on so you can put that to anything you want but that's just the activation method I chose and once it's activated you will get this little plus button that you see up here at the top that I'm dragging around you can drag it around anywhere you want to put it on the screen that's going to be left up to you so we can leave it right there and if we tap it right there you see we get all this conglomeration it looks funny because why because in here under appearance I have my color style set to clear I'm gonna turn that to solid and that should be black we'll put it to white uh, because this seems like that looks a little bit better so now when we open it up it won't look so well it's still got that opaque look to it uh, blur style white um, do, 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 do. and you, as you can see here I'm actually showing you a little bit around there it is now when we get the uh, the uh, tweak activated properly you see you can see everything in the background now these apps that you see at the top those top six are favorites and at the bottom down here is just every app on my phone if I wanted to scroll through and find something that wouldn't actually a favorite app but if I wanted to add it as a favorite you saw all I had to do was just come in here and go to favorites and just toggle on now activator will be one of my favorites so now when we touch the little plus you see I got the little favorites for the activator right there and if we tap that you see we can interact with that and it still has our favorites app open now that's not even the tip of the iceberg of what this does guys so that's the multi-fi part of this 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 section here is so you can even come in here if you wanted to and actually just uh, play a video you know but it won't let me play it because I have the uh, airplay on so I'll go ahead and turn that back off really fast and as you can see um, because of how I'm recording the video was the reason it won't let me play that video but anyway you can just interact with any of the apps that you want to up here in your multi-fi uh, feature of this now it also has what is called an edit feature and what that does is it allows you to interact with several apps at one time so if we come into multify and we go to our edit part here now I have this part set to triple press 
So if I have, let's say I have Twitter open and I open Twitter up. Come on, Bubble. Like so. And I'm now I'm going to per put it into the edit mode by triple press. Now I can pinch and squeeze that and drag that wherever I want it. And then I could come up here and say I wanted to open up YouTube. And I can put it in an edit mode. Like so. But I'm actually going to close YouTube because it's creating problems. So I'll open up this uh, settings. And now you see I can pinch and zoom and resize these and drag them however I want. And I'm going to pinch that one like so. And now I'm going to actually turn off edit mode. And now I can still interact over here with Twitter. I can still interact with this. And I can also interact with any app that's maybe that I want to interact with over here. So let me find something that won't mess everything up, such as Instagram. And you see, I can actually interact with this one too. And then if I wanted to come in here and maybe tweet something I could just tap the little tweet button and you see it pulls up my tweet and there you see I can go in and type in my tweet whatever it is I want to tweet uh, if I want to just say test and hit tweet and then it would tweet it out and go back down to the correct size now if I wanted to close these out here all I have to do is put them in edit mode and just drag them to the bottom and they're gone now that's pretty awesome in itself guys and that's called multi-five and like i said that is a five dollar app or tweak and here you can change your open your app activation method too so if you wanted to change that somehow that would be left up to you i'm not really going to change that because as you saw it was it worked easily just by me tapping it but you can set anything to work however you wanted it to. That's called Multify and it's five dollars. The next one we're going to be looking at today is one of my favorites too and I didn't get a screenshot of it don't look like. Um, let's go in here to installed. It's called OXO Legacy Edition. Now this one is only 99 cents. It's not that expensive. It's by A A3 Tweaks and Ryan Patrich, I think, is involved with this. Or maybe he was involved with the uh, Multify. I can't really remember now. I've forgotten. Uh, A3 Tweaks, we'll just call it on this one. I think Multify uh, Ryan Patrick was involved on it. So if we go in here to Multify, Mul now this one here, guys, actually is a new app switcher. And you've probably noticed already that if I double tap, um, my app switcher looks quite a bit different. But if we pull up from the bottom, the control center is what I'm trying to get at looks different not the app switcher but you can see I can swipe through here and in here is my app switcher too and if I wanted to open up something I could just drag it up like so and then uh, if I wanted to go back out I could pull it up if I wanted to open something different I could do like that or I could not turn it loose and drag all the way open it up just to look and then drag it back down but it's a pretty cool tweak overall this one here like I said this is called OXO legacy it's a extension that uh, the developers just tweaked a lot of stuff for iOS 8 this was a, a tweak available in iOS 6 and 7 but they have updated it for iOS 8 
and you can even load your album art and everything in here if I was going to play songs uh, now as you can see when you pull up from the bottom uh, you can even load your album art just by tapping on the uh, album art right here it will actually load it up for you in the full screen mode and it just you know it's pretty cool also if you want to change from the uh, scrubber to the volume you can touch the uh, title of the song that's how I'm getting it to change like so uh, there's just all kinds of little tricks you can do with that and that's called OXO Legacy and if we go in here to our settings OXO Legacy Edition you see you can change your app switcher you can change uh, several different things auxiliary pages uh, volume slider to track scrubber uh, like I said you could, that's gonna be left up to you advanced options you can change how you want things to open up as they open you visible pages you can switch up you can change all sorts of different things and here's the creator in here I was talking about earlier was Ryan Patrich and Century these two guys here are pretty awesome developers so definitely you want to check these two guys out The next week we're going to be looking at is my favorite today and it's called One Hand Wizard and reason being is I have to do everything one handed and that being even on top of that left handed. So this makes using the iPhone 6 much easier for me because if you're holding your iPhone in your hand you know if you can't you can't hardly reach that t top opposite corner. Uh, you just have to reach and shimmy up the phone to try to get up there where it's at But now thankful to a tweak called one hand wizard. It's 399 in big boss repo You can now do everything with one hand and I have gone ahead and assigned the activation a triple press is because of just what I enjoy using but you can assign any activator you want to and this even replaces the reachability feature on the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus. So it doesn't replace it, but it takes, you can use it instead by adding an activation method like I have done. So when I triple press, you see how my phone screen shrinks down. Now, say that I still have real tiny hands and that's still hard for me to reach the top corner there. All I have to do is put my finger on the top edge of the top right hand corner and I can drag that to be smaller or larger depending on how I want it to be so that's going to be something that we can even customize even farther so keep that in mind so if we wanted to make it smaller we could and it seems to like it's a little finicky but it's not wanting to let me resize it but you can resize it I'll try it again here in a minute but you can also touch your menu and inside here you got access to things like your volume you can mute it you can even read your notifications simply by just tapping notification it will show all your notifications and you can swipe back and forth on anything there and you can also swipe back up to read that then if you want to go back to your menu if you want to read your locks anything on your lock screen or you want to lock your phone all you would have to do is tap lock screen and it would lock your phone that quick then if you wanted to go back in you could simply just go back in here now we're going to have to enable it again and now you see I was hope there we go here I am resizing the top corner by just putting my finger on the top right edge I can resize that to be however how large or small I want it to be that looks about right right there but also I can take a screenshot I can tweet post to Facebook Instagram send SMS messages whatever and you see I have it on the left side well what if you wanted it on the right side you just simply tap up there where it says turn on right-handed mode and it will slide it over to the right now your right-handed people could use that but I need it on the left side 
pretty awesome tweet guys it's called one um i've already forgotten that fast one hand wizard definitely one you want to check out This tweak is called Secret Lock, and what it does, guys, is it allows you to lock your device, and it's free, uh, so it will not cost you anything in the big boss. It allows you to lock your device using activation uh, gestures, and the idea behind this, it says, is to keep strangers outside your device without the need to set up a password or without worrying to keep a secret passcode. So as you can see here, when I lock my device, um, to actually unlock it now, I will have to enter the proper activation codes in order for it to unlock. So now you see when I double press, you see I get the little green unlock. That's telling me that it will unlock. So I have a couple assigned and I also have double tap the clock button and the uh, date area and you saw the green unlock symbol appear when I did that so let me unlock it now and go back in and double tap the clock area again and you'll see the little green unlock and it vibrates too and there's some animations you can turn on if you want to enable those in your settings you go to, to the preferences here and as you can see you can turn your uh, enable on and off here's the vibration if you don't want it to vibrate and here's your activation events and you can turn on or off as many as these as you want to but I would say two or three would be plenty that way you know you're not going to get locked out you only have to enter one to unlock the device I think it would be pretty cool if they could enter a combination of events in order you know maybe enter you have to enter three in a specific order what well, that would be a good idea too so keep that in mind developer that's called secret lock next tweak we're going to look at is called sir cube i think i'm pronouncing that right that's how you uh, spell it right there on the screen and it's 249 what it does it's an extension to the youtube application it adds several features such as being able to download uh, play videos in the background disable age restriction block video ads uh, playback in HD on cellular uh, data which is pretty cool I think but as you can see it adds these settings under your YouTube's app settings so I'm in the YouTube app settings here and you see it added the a uh, little ex uh, extension here for the options in circuit so anything you want to uh, turn on or off it said it would be adding a download button that would uh, that would be coming where you would only have to tap one button to download a video so if we were to go in here now you see and start a video and I forget that every time I'm sorry I can't play those videos 